guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so you're watching good channel review and this is MJ so for today's review guys is we're going to talk about the pros and cons of this new processor which is the Magitech and the Qualcomm Snapdragon so which exactly is better let's talk about it now <music> to be compiled or assembled into a consecutable computer program. So guys, did you know that the Qualcomm Snapdragon has a really big advantage of this? Because the Qualcomm Snapdragon has a complete source code and documentation that allows them to build the custom rooms, which is the Magitech has none of this. This probably be the one of the downfall of the Magitech Processor. They're just only rear Magitech devices that are across with a custom because of its best source. So guys, the Magitech devices has only one time upgrade. Their marketing strategy is to move a new device rather than provide to support the old one. The devices that runs with a Qualcomm Snapdragon is much more expensive compared with the devices runs with the Magitech. So that's why when it comes to the entry-level smartphone, we will notice that the processor are most as Magitech. But it doesn't mean that it's a Magitech, it cannot do the job. Well, the most affordable gaming processor that are available in the market today is Magitech. It still can do what the Snapdragon does. Yes, that's true. The Qualcomm Snapdragon has a better battery optimization than Magitech. So, that's why we will notice that those devices run with the Qualcomm Snapdragon has a lesser battery setup because of its better battery optimization and those devices runs with the Magitech has a higher and bigger battery because it consumes more power compared to Snapdragon. So guys, therefore, because of the Magitech chipsets and its affordable price, we will be able to experience a smooth performance in our favorite online games without breaking the bank. Lalo na sa mga mid-range devices, alam natin na malakas talaga si Magitech sa mga mid-range devices, especially this Helio G90 T and the Helio G95, which is much more powerful when it comes to gaming compared to Qualcomm Snapdragon 720 G. So, yung mga chipset kasi na malakas ng mga Snapdragon is nandun sa mga high-end phones, which is very expensive at hindi na siya pasok sa budget. So guys, thank you so much guys for watching my video and that's all for today and I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo kung paano pumili ng magandang processor ng smartphone ko. So if you have a request, ano yung mga gusto nyo itry ko i-review, you can comment below so that I could be able to reach you out. And before I end this video guys, please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. So guys, see you soon. Thank you so much.